Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Just um, getting back from our trip to Kentucky to visit the family. Came out here to the Roadrunner. And I've seen a couple people were requesting a cold start video. So it's not really that cold here in Florida, but I'll do it for you anyways. All right. One second. another video today to show you um, what was all in the trunk of my 68 Roadrunner that I received. Um, there's a book in there with paperwork, pictures of the restoration and all that stuff. I'm gonna show that to you. Okay, here's the book that was in the trunk. As you can tell, it's old, a little bit of mold on it. So. I'm gonna slowly open it up here, show you what was all in the trunk. Looks like the sign here from Old Cars Weekly. It says, please look, don't touch, thank you. So Old Cars Weekly. Here's a vehicle identification. Plymouth. Roadrunner 440, and it was restored 1991 by the original owner, D.K. Smith, Jackson, Michigan. So it looks like the restoration was done in 1991. So let's look at some photos. There's some photos, look like they're stripping the paint. Here's one of the Interior stripped out, the back seat, trunk area, looks like here they took out the quarter panels, looks like they put some floor pans in, this looks like where they had the motor done, some interior pictures, this is after, looks like I'm not sure if that's before or after. It looks like maybe before they took the quarter panels off because it looks right there for some body work. More engine bay pictures after they painted it, before and after. That same battery from 1991 was still in the car. And I took it and got a new battery because it was done. So here's some pictures of the interior getting put back in. And I can tell this is new because now there's a little tear right here on the side. So this is the old interior. It looks to be black, but they put new seats in the back too, latching. Motor, motor interior pulled out. More motor work after it's finished looks like. This looks like the interior. It looks like they used to have a CB in here. Back seat pictures. More pictures inside. Pictures here are some trophies. 
Here's some pictures of the trunk. They put that carpet in there, which I took out because it was old. And it's not going to look too good. Here's some pictures of the motor. Looks like it's a. Here's some pictures. Looks like they're at a car show. Some more pictures of the car. More pictures. Pictures, pictures, pictures here. There's some more pictures of cars. Looks like an older picture because he has some old hot rods in the background. Must have been a car guy. There's some more at a car show. Looks like he had different wheels with white wall tires, which is probably what I want to do to it is put the white walls back on it. There's some more pictures. Pictures with some trophies. Okay, what's in this? Important papers, courtesy of Michigan. Let's see what this says. This is the mileage when the engine was put in at 60,003951. This is a certification card from Chrysler to who bought the car in 1968. This is a hmm, get a Chrysler action line outboard. Hmm. Never knew Chrysler made outboard. Marine Products, Chrysler Corporation, Detroit, Michigan. All right, let's see what else is in here. I'm gonna open this up. Try not to tear anything. This looks like. This is a build sheet. It looks like maybe it was in the seat and they built it. And here is The vehicle sales and service from Jackson, Michigan, Beacon Sales and Service. Looks like he had a 1964 Valiant two-door hardtop Barracuda that he traded in on the 68 two-door coupe Roadrunner. Price of the car was $27. Twenty-seven ninety-two. So altogether, he paid. They gave him one thousand and fifty-two, one thousand dollars and fifty-two cents for a nineteen sixty-four two-door Barracuda. <laughs> so his total delivery price for the car was twenty-nine fifty-six. And with everything else, he got it for twenty-five fifty-six. Wow, that's amazing. So here's the build sheet, original owner. Here's a customer care warranty book for nineteen sixty-eight passenger cars. Here's a book for nineteen sixty-eight Belvedere operating instructions. So that's what was in. This envelope is all that. That's awesome. And let's look through the rest of this book. That's it. I took that book. So this book, if it was put in there in 91, it's 2021. So it makes it what, 40, 91, 2001, 2011, 2021. So 30 year old restoration. This is all the stuff from that. Hope y'all enjoy. And uh, having a great day. And good luck with your Roadrunners and all you Mopar fans out there. This is what I got with my car in the trunk. As you can see, the car matches Dale Smith, Jackson, Michigan. 1968, 5-2-1968, let's see, it's a date zone here, so this is January, February, March, April, May, so 5-2-1968, matches all the certification card, Dale Smith, yep, 
file. So here's his insurance card. And registration from 1968. All right, that's all I got for today. Hope y'all enjoyed that cold startup with that 440 and all this cool stuff that I found in the truck. That was a restoration from 1991. All right, talk to you later, bye.